Well, the last thing you know, off is really, you can watch John's the King play today. You look like a well-known machine out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just kind of took over from the start. And, I mean, that had to be a nice feeling. Yeah, I think it was a really, really great uh, team effort there. Uh, really, as a whole offensive unit, um, starting off, uh, we were clicking. Uh, O-line was doing a great job blocking. Receivers blocking downfield. Uh, those running backs really find those holes, making it happen. Um, kind of makes it makes it a lot easier as a quarterback when all those guys are doing such a great job out there. Yeah, well, I mean, after how frustrating last week had to be, did you get any sense throughout the week that something like this was coming together in all phases of the game? I believed that it was going to come, but I just knew that we just had to keep our head down and stay working because, like, we've seen it throughout each game that we've been played in that one, at any given time, like, the play can go for us or it can go the other way for the other team. So we just had to stay consistent and really just keep working hard. Guys, you've really been racking up the yards on the ground. Appreciate it. You've had a yard game in a row. Appreciate it. You know, how have you been able to do that? Yeah. Um, it started with the big boys up front, to be honest. They they just manhandled the trenches. Like, today they manhandled the trenches. Like, today they manhandled the trenches. They just manhandled the trenches. Like, today they manhandled the trenches again. Like, I mean, I got to give all the props to them, to be honest. I mean, yeah, but it started with them. Austin, how about what that one said about consistency? Was that the big key to see consistency? Yeah, that's, that's kind of been – our season has just kind of been very inconsistent, obviously, with those 3 start, 3-0, and then 3 and then back to winning the game now. It's just been very inconsistent all year, so consistency is something that is very big for this team. And this week we really – I think had a great week of practice and it showed up this Saturday. Austin, what's this say about, you know, the, the morale of this team? I mean, obviously, you know, the guys hanging, but you're obviously still playing out the string. Everybody wants to win a game that's cool today. No doubt. Um, like, you know, like I've said to the guys and a lot of the guys have said, and, you know, I'll just, we're not going to stop until the end of the season, until the very last play of the season, you know. I don't care. Winning or losing doesn't matter. Like I'm gonna go out there and keep playing hard, and that's what the rest of the guys are doing too. So that's what you can expect to see the rest of the year. Devlin, how do you hold that team to when they finish with 66 yards on the ground? I mean, that's what they do. They run the ball. Oh man! Uh, I didn't even know we had oh, that, that low. But uh, really, I mean, it's just everybody doing their job. You know, starting up front, staying within our gap when the ball carrier shows up, getting them to the ground. But honestly, it's just everybody really doing their job, and so. Mm -hmm. 66 though. Yeah. Sheesh. That's lit. What? Yeah, well, I know this, this every game, the conference game is tough. And obviously, you play the guys the next week. And just having a win this week, that, does that carry on with some good momentum for you guys when up there next week? Started? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's going to carry some momentum for us. But honestly, we really just need to just focus on doing our job and really being consistent up front for us and then for the offensive side, like they can speak for it. But I know for defense, like we really just focus on doing our 111. So hopefully this is, well, I mean, not hopefully, but this is going to give us a lot of momentum going into practice. We just need to stay level-headed. I'm just going to start by saying uh, how proud I am of our guys and our staff. Um, you know, things haven't gone our way these last three weeks. Um, you know, we haven't, we haven't played the kind of football that I have felt that we were capable of playing and and uh you know we've had some things that uh you know you'd like to 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 do over and you don't get that opportunity in football and i think it would have been pretty easy for our guys to just say hey uh it's not our year and uh but our staff did a good job putting a game plan together and and our our kids really responded and uh that was a really good win today against a good football team um and and I'm proud of of the character they showed today. Yeah, but, you know we we've moved the ball well all year, Barry, and um, you know a big difference in the game. You, you you look at last week, and we had five possessions in Western Territory that I think we came away out of those five possessions with only three points. And today we're seven of seven with touchdowns in the red zone. And uh, you know that's um, you know that's that's a good scheme. That's a good plan. 
but it's really good execution. The one thing we talked about is we've got to play bigger at bigger times, uh, which has been a little bit of our weakness, whether it's a, a third down situation or you know, a turnover, or if we get a penalty, we don't respond to that. And we had all those things today, and uh, every chance, you know, every opportunity we had, um, our guys responded today. How big was it to hold guys? I mean, they're supposed to be pretty good right the team and shut down. Yeah, you know, obviously they're playing with their second quarterback, um, you know, in their defense, although he's played a lot. and um, But that was the game plan going in was, hey, we, we, we're going to, you know, commit to to stopping the run and, you know, force them to try to throw the football. And, you know, we, they got into a situation where they had to throw the football there in the second half because of the lead, and, and that's not what they wanted to do. Uh, and that's how you that's how you beat good teams, by put them in, putting them in situations where they're not comfortable. And, and uh, you know, we did that today um, by playing a complete game on both sides of the football. Um, you know, you know, Kai's, you know, Kai's a kid that he's a, he's a very emotional player, uh, but, you know, he's really run the ball hard, um, you know, broke tackles, you know, the one touchdown run, I think was a, a really good example. Um, you know, he was hit probably if not at the line of scrimmage, maybe even a half yard deep and just bowled his way against some good defensive players into the end zone. And, and, uh, you know, he's playing, um, he's playing, with a lot of confidence now, um, you know, we had a conversation after that Northern Iowa game, and and uh, I think he realizes that you know he's got to be uh, more focused, and he's played with great focus the last three weeks. Yeah, you know, we had two tailbacks that averaged ten yards a carry, um, and and uh, you know, so both those backs ran hard. Um, they. Uh, um, you know, broke tackles, um, and at the same time, you know, our young offensive line keeps getting better. Um, it's our third game, 300 yards rushing, so I can't get out of it now. I'm going to have to start wearing those hippo ties that I said that I was going to wear. I've got three of them now, so uh, from different people. So, um, but that, uh, you know, that's the kind of when we can run the football, it created some opportunities for us to throw and. And we hit some big plays uh, throwing the football today at critical times. Um, and, uh, um, you know, we'll be, we'll, as we head into this week, it'll be the same type of thing. I mean, we're going to play one of the best offensive teams in the country this week in North Dakota State. And we're going to have to manufacture some ways to hang on to the football and put points on the board ourselves. So. Yeah, yeah, you know, with momentum, I think. Uh, you know, this was a really physical football game. We're going to have to get some guys, you know, healthy and and back to to a hundred percent here by uh, by the weekend. But um, there are enough really good things today that we can we can build forward. And instead of you know making excuses, you know, we didn't make any excuses today. Our guys went out and and uh, played the way that we need to play.